Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Volkswagen Atlas and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material in order to black out the entire front panel. Link for the product will be provided below. But with that being said, let's start with the installation video. So before we start with the installation for the front grill, we need to make sure we prep the entire panel. So all we need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to start removing any contaminants that the front grill may have. And then once you're done prepping the whole entire panel, make sure that everything's dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tag down to the panel. So we're going to start by installing the piece that covers the lower section of the panel. So this one is a two-piece installation. So the same steps that are done for this side, you will repeat it for the other side of the panel. So with this one, just make sure you match the small cutout design that we have on the film to the inner section of the grill here. Make sure you're covering the chrome, lift the film carefully, and just follow along with the design. And you just lift in case you need to adjust the film and just to make sure you cover the entire panel. So once we place the film down, we're going to grab our squeegee and start carefully tacking down the film. Make sure we don't accidentally crease the film. And if you need to apply heat in order to help shrink the fingers, you can. But make sure you just squeegee at an angle. That way you take your time and you don't crease the film. And make sure for this section here, you just help the film tuck underneath the panel here. So you can fold it a little bit in half like this and then just tuck it in with your squeegee. And once you secure the top half of the panel, then little by little we're going to work our way to this lower section. Make sure to remove any air that may be underneath the body line here of the grill. That way it stays flat and there's no air trap underneath here. And then we could just start slowly tacking down the film. You can lift the film in order to remove some of the air and then just take your time tacking down everything. And just do the same process until you tack down everything on this flat area. For this part, you can apply just a little bit of heat since there is a small curve, just to help relieve the tension that the film may have, and that way we're able to tack it down more better. So grab your heat gun, apply a little bit of heat, and then we'll tack it down. Remember to always squeegee at an angle, that way we don't crease the film, and just help everything tack down. And any extra material that we have, we could trim it off. So just make sure the whole chrome is being covered, and you should be good. For this part here, you could tuck in the film as much as you can. And then once you tuck in the film, any extra material that you may have, you just trim it off. But before that, just make sure you tuck in everything, apply a little bit of heat, and then trim off the extra material. There is a small gap in between the panel that is being worked on and the bumper. When you find that gap, just insert your blade carefully and just trim off the excess material. And just make sure you remove any excess material that you may have on the top section. And once you remove all the excess material, apply heat to seal everything. And then the same steps that were done here, repeat it to the other. So with this one, the process for the installation is almost exactly the same as the one we did for the bottom. You just need to align the design of the film to the design of the grill here. So just make sure you align it on one and the rest should just fall into place. And all we need to make sure is just making sure the whole chrome is being covered. So if you need to lift it, just lift it carefully and place it back down. And once we place the film, we're going to do the same steps. Tack down the top layer first, and then work your way through this middle section here to secure it, and then the lower section here. And then we'll apply heat, and then trim off extra material, and then we should be good.
Okay, so when it comes to installing the top piece with this one, just make sure you start from the middle. So make sure you align this section of the design of the film to the design of the panel. So align it right in the middle. Make sure you're just covering the chrome on the top here and everything else should just fall into place on the top. All we have to do now is just lift the film carefully and you can use the top half as a guide to align the rest of the film. And it should be like this, it's pretty simple. Since it's not too much of a deep curve, it's easier to just align it and set it and then just tack it down. So do the same steps here, lift it carefully, use the top half as the guide to align the film and it should reach up to there. All we need to do now is just grab our squeegee and carefully tack down the film. Make sure not to crease it, remove any air. Do that throughout the entire panel on the top section first, and then we'll work way on the bottom. So before we trim off any extra material, we're just going to grab a heat gun and start applying heat throughout the entire panel. That way we help the film start molding to the design of the panel that is being worked on. And then if we see any excess material, then we'll just trim it off. For example, here on the edges, there is a gap right in the middle where you could place your blade and trim off the excess material. Same here, just make sure you cover the chrome on the bottom and whatever is excess material trim off. And also on top, if you have any excess, just trim it off. There's a small gap where you could place your blade and trim. Okay, once you finish applying heat, now we can trim off excess material. For the top section of the grill, like I mentioned, there is a small gap where you could insert the blade. You can start by making a small outline with your finger. That way you know exactly where you're going to insert the blade. So right here, and just carefully, without applying too much pressure, just lightly pass your blade, follow the design, and trim off the excess material. If you need to stop to get a better grip, you can. Just take your time until you reach to the other. And on the side, trim it off. And that's basically it. You just do the same step that was done for this section throughout the entire panel. And then once we're done trimming off the excess material, apply heat and then we'll move on to the next piece. So when it comes to installing the piece that covers the chrome that's on top of the headlight, just do the same steps, align it to the edge here. And when you do the alignment, just make sure you're covering the chrome. So roughly around there and the chrome's being covered. And all we need to do now is just carefully lift the film and make sure we're covering the chrome. So you could either use the top half or the bottom half, whichever you like as the guide in order to align the film. And it should reach up to here. Once you place the film, same steps, grab your squeegee, Start tagging down the film to remove the air. With this one, you could tuck in the film underneath here, if possible, and whatever's excess material, we'll just trim it off. And before we trim off any excess material, we're going to grab a heat gun, apply heat throughout the entire panel, and then we'll trim off the excess material. And then once we're done with this piece and we finish with the rest of the installation, the last step to do is to post heat the entire panel, and then we're done. So the last thing to do once you finish with the entire installation for the front grill is to post heat each panel that was worked on. So all we need to do is grab our heat gun and apply heat evenly throughout the entire film. Make sure we help the adhesive on the film act very faster. And if there's still any film lifting around the edges, apply heat and tag it down with your squeegee. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, 
please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grille chrome delete installation for the 2023 Volkswagen Atlas. We hope that the video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.